everyone, welcome to Business and Laundry. I am Bimbo Obwefi. In this video, I'll be telling you about starch and starching. What is starch? Starch is found in many plants. When you eat your rice, there's starch in it. When you use your corn, there's starch. But we are talking of starch that helps the appearance of a fabric. There are different types of starch. We have cold water starch and we have spray starch. Spray starch is to enhance the pressing on your clothes while the cold water starch is to give body to this to the fabric you're you're wearing it helps the appearance it's used to stiffen the textile so how do you source out for your starch when you're sourcing out for your starch you have to check for certain things the odor the thickness and the the texture is important because when you want to start your clothes you'll make sure that the starch is not going to give bad odor and it's going to do the, the, the main reason why you want that starch is to thicken or to stiffen the fabric or the textile, whatever it is you have to do. So now, I'm going to show you how to do this starch, how to mix it. To use the cold water starch, there are two types. There's a powder one and the liquid one. And there are different types of starch in the market. There's local starch, which I believe most of us are aware of. But I don't advise you use such because I don't use it. So I advise you to get the powdered one. They are in industrial starch or the liquid one. They come in containers of um, five liters, uh, 25 liters. The powdered one comes, there are some in sachet, there are some in containers. Just try and buy what is suitable for you and what you think you can afford. So ensure that you get the right one. So when you need to start the clothes, there's a way you mix the starch in water. It's If it's a powdered one, you still need to mix it in cold water before applying it to the fabric. If it's the liquid one, you still do the same. But it depends on the quantity of items you want to starch. So you have to look at one, if you're using sachet, for instance, a sachet should only starch a shade for you. And it now depends on the thickness. Your customer might want it very strong. You know, those ones that they tell you that I don't want to look proud. But for some that want to look proud, then you have to look use like three sachets of the powdered one and if it's a liquid one you have your measurement as you continue to try to starch to learn how to do this starching obviously you will get to know the quantity you need you are going to do the measurement for yourself so um i believe what i have explained is good enough so i'm going to show you how to mix the starch and subsequently you'll be able to do it it's not everyone that likes starch but i believe that for those that like starch there's a reason why they like starch as a dry cleaner when you wash an iron clothes the customers are not putting it on immediately so the benefit of starching is that it makes the clothes to to still look creeps at the time the customer is going to use it for any kind of occasion they need it for so i'm trying to mix um the starch i'm using a powdered starch this is one starch and they come in various sizes and um, different containers so i'm using one starch i'll i'll let you know the measurement and the water i'm using this is a measurement just because of the item i'm starching so you need to know what you're starching and how you measure it. If the thickness you want, you have medium, you have um, light, and you have heavy. It depends on what you're trying to starch anyway. So you have to have your measurement. So I put the water in the container and I put the powder starch inside and I use my hand to mix it. You can wear gloves, you can do without gloves. It just depends on you. And I'll show you the end result of the mixing. Okay, so the starch is fully mixed. You make sure that the particles are dissolved before you put the garment you're trying to starch. Your customers will have you to starch anything. So as a professional, it's up to you to tell them what the starch can hold. I mean, what fabric can hold starch and fabric that cannot hold starch. I'm starching this stuff because the owner wants it starched. So I'm going to dip all the garments inside the starch and squeeze it out. For this, I'm sorry, I'm doing a light starch. So I'll ensure the water goes all through to make sure the thickness that I want is achieved. So it's just like you're rinsing the clothes because you've already finished washing. You rinse, you apply starch after your last rinse. So once that is done, 
you squeeze out the water. Some people don't squeeze out the water because they believe when they squeeze out the water, the spark will not take effect. But that is a no-no. It doesn't matter. Whether you squeeze it out or not, your starch has been applied. It goes deep into the fabric. So you need to squeeze out the water. I'll show you the end result of this once the fabric is dry. Thank you for always watching, watching our video. Please kindly subscribe. Thumbs up for us. Let us know where we are. We need improvement. And kindly forward to people that you think will benefit from this video. Happy Easter. Black items, black clothes, black shirts can actually be starched. Black natives. It depends on the nature of the starch you're using. Most liquid starch can be used to starch black garment. But the powdered one, if you don't mix it thoroughly and ensure the, the starch dissolves well in water, it can leave white patches and white particles on the garment, which will look unprofessional. So in order for you to starch your black clothes, ensure you mix your starch properly. Thank you.